Hello and welcome to another Italian tutorial. Now this one is not just another Italian tutorial. I'm not going to teach you stuff that should be taught in an Italian course. I'll be teaching you how to insult and how to swear in Italian. So be ready. First of all, let's focus our attention on this part of the screen. Basically, the most common way of swearing in Italian is by saying cazzo or minchia. And depending on where you are across the country, one is more common than the other one. So in the north, people like to say cazzo. And in the south, people like to say minchia. Translating directly, this means dick and this means pussy. So it's pretty funny. But anyway, this is the common way of swearing. And I would translate both with fuck, okay, in English. This one, merda, is also very common. And it's some sort of a neutral, common swearing word that is used both in the north and the south. This is a list of very common insults that I won't go through because they are grammatically wrong and therefore confusing. They are very rude, but if you're really fancy, you can, uh, you can have a look. For instance, vai a fare in culo. This doesn't even make any sense. Translating literally, this means go and do in ass. It just doesn't make any sense. You will find nobody able to explain it to you. Uh, you just got to learn it by heart, but I recommend you don't. Now, the most interesting part of this video is actually not this, but this. So, how to swear, this is important, this is nice, this is funny, but insults are more funny. I think, I don't know if it's my personal experience or what, but in Italian, maybe it's a culture thing, people insult in a very unique way. When you insult somebody in Italian, you want to be creative. And here, there is a very long insult that you can personalize. Let's see. Now, we've covered the verb to be already. If you don't know, then you can watch the video on it. Otherwise, this is all you need to know for this video, because you are is tu sei, tu sei. This means you are. Now, in Italian, if you are saying you are talking to one person, or if you are saying you are, but you are referring to multiple people, then it changes. So you don't usually, you don't use, you don't use you are both times. You use tu sei and then voi siete. So it's different. In English, you would translate both with you are. Um, so let's imagine that we are talking to one person in particular because this is the most common way. And the, co the most common particular because this is the most common case. Okay, it's not as common to... Okay. Having to insult 15 different people at the same time isn't that common. Unless you're me. No, I'm kidding. So, to say, you are. And then you can use any of these adjectives. These are all insults. And if you want to know what each of these means, then Google them. Because I'm not going through all of these. But anyway, this means idiot. Idiota. This means stupid. Stupido. And as you can see, apart from this particular case... Um, you have to swap the final O with an A if you're insulting a woman because that makes it feminine. That makes the adjective feminine. So if you say stupido, this means stupid, but you have to say this to a, to a man. If you're talking to a woman, then you have to say stupida. Okay, now tu sei una stupida. This means you are stupid. Uh, you have to remember the indefinite article and of course you choose you pick the feminine version if you're insulting a woman Otherwise you pick the, the masculine version, which is un. We've also covered indefinite articles in another video But in a nutshell un is masculine una is feminine so tu sei un idiota this is um, how you say you're an idiot to a man. Tu sei 
una stupida. This translates in you're stupid and it's for, for a woman. Okay, so now let's add a level of complexity. Let's imagine that we are really angry, we're really mad and we want to add a level of complexity to our sentence and a little bit of creativity. So we can say tu sei un figlio di zoccola. Now all these words mean bitch and basically what we are saying now translating literally from Italian to English we're saying you're a son of a bitch and as you can see we don't put the article the article is only for when you have an adjective as well so say we can omit the subject in Italian especially if you're angry say un figlio di zoccola you're son of a bitch and this is grammatically correct and of course the word figlio in Italian means son figlio. we've covered gender already but if, if in case you don't know what gender is basically in Italian you have masculine and feminine gender and basically when you change the O with uh, with an I in this case well you don't add anything but this makes it plural so this means sons this mean this means son this means daughter and this means daughters okay so you change the ending and you change the meaning slightly and of course you change the plurality and the gender so if you're insulting a man say un figlio di, di zoccola you're son of a bitch if it's a woman tu sei una figlia di zoccola okay so literally you are daughter of a bitch but the meaning is always the same you're son of a bitch but it's for women okay so last level of complexity this is for when you really feel creative and really feel like you want to make history with an insult okay sei un figlio di una zoccola stronza now this is really long and uh, that means that you're really angry and basically what we do is we say you are a son of a crazy bitch well that this doesn't mean crazy but sort of um, remember that when you add an adjective to the word bitch then you have to use uh, the indefinite article feminine case okay so una tu sei un figlio di una zoccola stronza and of course the adjective has to go along with the noun so if the noun is feminine the adjective has to has to be feminine also okay guys so I hope you enjoyed this video Insulting people in Italian is uh, can be quite fun. However, I don't suggest you go and test this out. Pick one that, that sounds good in your opinion and stick with it. You might need it. You never know. And okay, don't forget to like the video and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. <laughs>